Shall we bless God and praise the Lord? Ladies and gentlemen, to God be the glory. One of the greatest testimonies that should be in the newspaper is what Sister Barbara had gone through. It is unbelievable. Nothing but an absolute miracle of God. She was unconscious for weeks, weeks. COVID and her, 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 her system shut down. There was absolutely no hope. But today, Barbara, it's like George said, you got to get in the Word, you know. Barbara stands here. Barbara, tell us what the Lord has done in the future. I thank God for what He has done in my life. In April, I wasn't feeling well one day. And I was coughing a lot. And a voice said to me, to get dressed and go to the hospital which is not far from where I live and I got dressed I called for a cab and I went I couldn't remember at the time but before I left home another voice said to me why don't you go and sleep cover up and sleep and in the morning you'll feel better but I didn't listen to that voice. I called for the cab, left and went to the hospital. When I walked into the foyer of the hospital, I was told I collapsed and went into a coma for two months. I didn't know what was going on at the time. My cousin who searched for me because I told her I wasn't feeling well and I went and she called the hospitals to find out what happened she had a hard time finding me however um, she found me and they told her what had happened they were trying to get my family to give put the vent through my throat which they did they couldn't find them so they went ahead and put the vent through my throat however um, my family they called my family and told them four times that they need to take off this vent because I was brain dead and dying and they refused but the fourth time they agreed they took off the vent and I opened my eyes I was staring at the ceiling I was told in the meanwhile the church was praying my family was crying out to the Lord and after a week they said I coughed and I came to and the doctor came to my bedside and he said that we saw miracles upon miracles in your life in the ICU also he said the two nurses told me the same thing after that um, they tr when I came to, I, they, I couldn't walk. I had to learn to walk all over again. I had, during that time, I had um, pneumonia. My lungs, they said, were, was like rubber. And God healed it. God answer your prayers, pray palace. Thank you, pastor, for praying for me and many of you and God brought me out of that situation and I'm here to tell you that God answer prayers he's real the righteous cry and the Lord hear it and deliver them from all their troubles not some all our God is able 
And today I'm here to declare that keep praying. Even if you don't see results, press in. Right? Keep pressing in. God do wants to praise. God bless you. The answers prayer to remember in the morning. God answers prayer at noon. Slip your hand and sing it to Jesus. God answers prayer in the So keep your heart in. You need an answer to prayer, slip your hand heavenward and sing it. God answers prayer in the morning. Let's give God praise for every one of you. The Lord is good. Praise the Lord. He's answered your prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, dear. Gentlemen, take care of the lady. Thank you. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a thanksgiving offering with our tithes, sowing the seed and being blessed. Invest in the ministry and the Lord will give you your faithful return. And as God's servant and yours, I release in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost the open windows of heaven's blessing upon you, your yours, your business, your family, and your job. In Jesus' name, God bless you as you give.
now. Let's take time out and worship God a little bit. Let's get time out. Is it time out of praise the Lord? Hallelujah, God's doing something. This is so beautiful. You know, you might ask me, Paul, you might ask me, Paul, how do I get the presence of God? How do I enter the presence of God? How, how, how does that happen? Listen carefully. God inhabits the praises of his people. You want God's presence? Just praise and thank and worship. If you're at home in your automobile, wherever you are, just praise him. God will show up. God will show up because he's faithful. One of the most faith-building chapters in the entire songs and poetry of King David is found in the 136th Psalm. It'll build faith. It'll give you knowledge to God's, can I say it, creation and accomplishments. No matter what our scientists tell us, God is still God and we have to go back to the Bible if you would be kind enough I'm going to enter with you in a little exercise here stand all over this place in honor of God's word and his presence the 136th Psalm and you're going to get the easy part okay because when I read the first part of that verse all you have to do is say for his mercy endureth forever. And you say it with emphasis. Well, you might ask again, well, Paul, what does mercy mean here? And it's all through the chapter. It means loving kindness. God says, I'll show you mercy because I love you. And with loving you, I'll be kind and showing. I won't demand anything. You don't owe me anything. It's loving kindness, that's how that works. Okay? So here we go. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, God of gods, and the Lord, 
and his and give thanks unto the Lord of Lords to him alone because he alone doeth great wonders for his I gotta watch that to him watch this now that stretcheth out the earth above the waters what, what does that mean Paul well, at one time the planet was together and God separated it and put the Atlantic Ocean right in the middle. And that's what that scripture really is talking about. I'll read that again. To him who alone doeth great wonders and to him by wisdom made the heavens. Now you cheer me now. And his. To him that stretcheth out the earth. To him that made great lights, that's the firmament. For the sun to rule by day, the moon and the stars to rule by night, to him alone that smote Egypt in their firstborn. God will, God will smite your enemies and brought out Israel from among them. Don't doubt on me now. With a strong hand and with a stretch out arm to him which divided the Red Sea into parts and made Israel to pass through the midst of it. and overthrew Pharaoh and his host right in the Red Sea. To him which led his people through the wilderness. To him which smote great kings and slew famous kings. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og the king of Bashan and gave their land for an heritage even a heritage to Israel his servant who remembered us in our low estate and watch this isn't it wonderful and hath redeemed us from our enemies who giveth food to all flesh oh give thanks unto the God of heaven praise God that's wonderful I'm going to bless God that's great I'm sure that you could join with me by saying, what a wonderful Thanksgiving Sunday morning service in the presence of God, in the presence of all our family, and our deep appreciation and thanks goes to the Corral, the choir, Brother Wardell who worked hard. Thank you, sir, that was very nice. And all you musicians, and Joe. <laughs> I feel you want to say in your heart, you know what? I just want to go up to the altar and spend a minute or two a moment and just thank God because I'm in church on Thanksgiving. I made it. I made it through everything we've been through for the last year, two years. The mountain peaks, the valleys. And I just want to take a moment and I want to give you that opportunity to come and stand around these altars and in the aisle and lift your face to God and say, God, thank you for this Thanksgiving. Thank you because my wife is with me. Thank you because I have my children with me. It's Thanksgiving. I want to thank you for my job and my prosperity 
I could walk. I'm not in the hospital. I could talk. I just want to come and stand for a moment. I want to come and stand in God's presence. And I want to lift my face into the heavens, into the very face of God, and say, God, thank you. Thank you. Get ready to sing something of praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanksgiving, thank you. Raise your hands and say, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. If you need Jesus, if you need Jesus, come down. Say, all I do, my love, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my enemies. You make us good.
Tom, come up and pray. Pronounce the benediction blessing upon the people. Thank you, sir. As the Lord bless you, let's raise our hand. Just stay with you. God bless you. So good to see each and every one of you. Would you just raise your hands all over this house? This is a house. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. And may the God in which we serve lift his countenance upon you. May he turn himself towards you. And in lifting his countenance upon you this very day, to your sons and to your daughters, to your husbands and to your wives, to your job, your social, your financial, may God give you peace in Jesus' name this Thanksgiving day. We give thanks to our most high God, our most high God, in Jesus' name. Our most high God, in Jesus' name. Our most high God, in Jesus' name. A God great and greatly to be praised. Our most high God, in Jesus' name. I love you, Prayer Palace. I love you, Prayer Palace. God bless you. Why don't you give somebody a great big hug? Give them a great big Thanksgiving hug. Continuing to reach out with you to touch God, for you to understand the purpose of God in your life. Jesus is there for you, friend, to walk with you in your destiny, to put you safe on the shore of life. Call on Jesus today. He's waiting to hear from you. Prayer Palace Ministries.